inventions and putting guitars in glitter, and all that energy could be really electric. Our next story is a look at heavy metal madness, one of the latest waves of popular music. Or is it just an act? Some kids go crazy over this. This loud and angry noise somehow attracts millions of young people who are now hooked on heavy metal music. Should I say music? Heavy metal, or the hardest rock and roll, has been around for a while. It started in the early 70s with groups like Led Zeppelin, later on with Kiss. A wave of nasty, spiteful, and rebellious bands has sprung out of this to create this mess. From heavy metal to heavier metal. This is rock critic Deborah Frost. It's very loud, it's very crude, it's very noisy. It's often very sexist, but at the same time, when kids go to the concert, it's a release for them. Uh, they can jump up and down on their seats instead of maybe jumping up and down or trashing things elsewhere. Uh, many kids may take that too far, but I think most people go to the heavy metal show the way that they go to see wrestling. Thanks to music videos and MTV, heavy metal rock has reached great popularity. It's now a million dollar business. They're performers more than musicians. Their aim is more often to entertain their audiences and demand attention. How can you miss with this display of chains, spikes, sometimes even blood and lots of gore? Maiden is one of the most popular heavy metal bands in the world. They struck it rich with several gold albums. They recently played at Radio City Music Hall in New York, and I went to one of their concerts. Bruce Dickinson is their lead singer. Our music tends to be up most of the time. Consequently, you know, people go, you know, they're a very violent band. Uh, I suppose musically we're probably a little, a little violent. You know, we like to jangle people's nerves and shake them up a little bit. Basically to give them a good time. Um, make things exciting, and usually things that are exciting usually have a, an, an element of, of aggression in them. Meet Wasps. Nice, huh? Nice may not be an appropriate word for this heavy metal group. This is shock rock, folks. Wasp is very loud and very violent. Gory may be a better description. They are known for throwing raw meat at their fans or bringing a live rat on stage. Cute. The most amazing thing they've featured is a woman being tortured on stage. It's all fantasy. Some call it electronic vaudeville. Blackie Lawless is Wasp's lead singer and creator. We're not really trying to project anything. I mean, a lot of people come in and they look at what we're doing and they're trying to see something deep into what we're doing. We're not, this is like a clockwork orange. I mean, we're not, it makes totally no sense at all. Rock and roll was meant to be sweaty and smelly. When it stops being sweaty and smelly, it's not rock and roll anymore. There shouldn't have to be a lot of deep thought put into it. L'Amour, in Brooklyn, New York, is one of the top heavy metal havens. The night we were there, it was packed with leather and metal fans. I find the music electrifying. It just gets me totally crazy sometimes. Why do you like heavy metal? The power. The power and the music, the guitars, the drums, oh, the energy for me. I think what we're doing gets them to the point where it pushes them right to the edge and works out their frustrations. I mean, at least they're not going home and beating up their neighbor or their sister or something like that. People should be glad we're doing this. This is a healthy form of therapy, I really believe. From heavy metal to a hunk of metal, 